hello guys welcome back to another video in this video we will be going to see how we can make our characters uppercase lowercase or propers or left and right how we can fetch the characters from our strings so see if we are using our excel file how we do that it is here if you wanted to make your characters uppercase then you have to write is equal to upper then you have to write your cell number the cell number refers to the value which we want to convert into uppercase in case of lower what we do well we just write is equal to lower then we will be passing the value of the cells which you wanted to be in lower case and if we wanted the proper case what do i mean by proper case is that the first letter of the strings will be upper letter like you can say capital letter and also whenever strings is stopped and we have put some space and if the second letter is also starting then it will be also of upper letter or you can say capital letter what if we wanted to fetch the particular first six characters or last six characters what functions we use in our excel file well there is a formula which is called left and right where we can define our cell number where we wanted to fetch the details of first six characters or first seven characters here i have mentioned you can see in the formula bar it is showing here is equal to left and i have defined a2 as my target so a2 is my target and i wanted to face the first six characters from the left so from the left first six characters is pawan it is my name so it is fetching the first six characters and it is showing me pawan what if i wanted to face the characters from the left side well there is also the formula which is is equal to right then i have to define my target and also i wanted to define how many characters or how many letters i wanted to fetch from the target so here i have mentioned is equal to right and a2 comma 7 so it will be going to the this particular target and it will be fetching this last seven characters and it will be showing it here so this is the way we do in our excel file what if you have to perform the same action in our vba well there comes l case u case left and right into the pictures now what about this proper case well proper case there is no direct function available in our excel file or in our vba but we can do the proper case formula also through some tips and tricks which i'll be showing you after finishing this course that how you can do this proper case also with the help of vba so without wasting any time let's dive into our pdf file and learn how we can write the VBA code for this uppercase, lowercase or left and right. So today we will be discussing this four uppercase, lowercase, left and right. These are the four types of string functions which we are going to discuss today. Here it is a lowercase. So what you have to do if you wanted to make any of the cells or particular range of the cells into lowercase, well, you just type L case and that you pass that strings. So string can be variable which you have defined earlier or it can be referenced to some cell also. Here, first of all, we are declaring our variable. Variable is equal to Microsoft. Then we are going to show these details on our screen so that we can see what is the exact output looks like in our output box. So see, here we have, so we are writing line one. So it will be printed just like that. Thereafter, it will be executing this statement. So it is L case variable. So variable is equal to variable. We are defining it as a VAR. So VAR is equal to Microsoft VB script. Microsoft VB script will be passed here and it will be making it lowercase and it will be showing in our final result. So final result, what it would be? Well, it would be line one, then Microsoft VB scripts. It is here. What about our second message box line two and lowercase variable? Well, here we have changed our variable. We have made it to uppercase MS VBS script. So it will be doing the lowercase of this all the uppercase letters. So here it is there. MSVB script. It is all lowercase letter. What about our another line three? Well, it is also making the lowercase. So since it is already a lowercase, so, so no change will be there. We'll be getting same as a output also. Now let's discuss what is uppercase. So uppercase is also similar to the lowercase. In lowercase, we made all the letters into the lowercase. In uppercase, we will be making all the letters to the uppercase. Well, first of all, we have to write U case, then we have to pass our strings. String can be variable, which we defined in the first place. So here we have defined our variable 
and we are defining it as a dynamic it is not constant variable so we can change it later on so first of all this is the proper case formatting where we have written microsoft vbs script and then we are going to show it under our message box so line one uppercase will be showing all these microsoft vb scripts into uppercase so all the letters will be in capital letter and if you will be seeing this next variable where we have already defined our variable in capital letter only so it will do nothing it will just like show like that only because it is already in capital letter so it will be showing just like that in case of this all small letters it will be showing you in the capital letters because since we are applying the ucase function onto this variable so ucase then we are passing our variable here so under message box it will be showing uppercase of this variable under third line so line one will be totally uppercase line two also will be totally uppercase and line three will be totally uppercase but what we did we have changed our variable of variable one variable two and variable three so we have not defined three different variables instead what we did we have defined one variable as a string and then we are passing the different type of value to it like here we are passing the strings where these are the proper case uh, string and uh, this is the capital letter strings these are the words so we are writing it in capital letters we are writing in small letters and we are writing in proper form then we are passing it to the variables and it is giving us the output so three different value we have assigned to the same variables then we are passing uppercase so let's see what will be our output here you can see microsoft vb script as uppercase anyway we are getting all the three outputs in uppercase only so in case of the first it was proper case and vba microsoft script vbs script so it is showing the same it means okay it is correct second one is also correct and third one is also correct now let's see what left and right looks like well left and right look like something like this in left you have to first pass on the strings thereafter you have to define that how many characters or how many letters you wanted to pull out from that strings from the left side so it will be pulling out the characters from the left sides whatever length you will be defining here so what is the syntax syntax is written here right directly left then we are passing some strings then we are defining how many characters or how, character length or you can say letter length how many letters we wanted to pull out from that string so here uh, string a required parameter input string from which the specified number of characters to be returned from the left side so it will be returning from the left side you have to remember this because we are writing here left and length a required parameter an integer which specifies the number of characters to be returned now we are writing our program in this so see we have already defined our button and then we are defining our variable as a variant then we are passing different type of strings into it now we are going to fetch certain characters or certain letters from this so under this microsoft vbs script from left side we are fetching the two characters or two letters so it will be m and i so the output should be m and i in the second script we are fetching the five letter one two three four five so it should be ms then space then vbs so space is also considered as a character it will not change the proper case or upper case or lower case it will just return the whatever is written on our target the first five or first second or you can say from left side to first five characters so it will return just like that under microsoft under also we will be writing as a nine character so it will be returning as a nine character so one two three four five six seven eight nine so it will be returning full characters it will not change into upper case or lower case or proper case it will just return the value whatever length we have defined from the left side so variable you can directly write here also your this microsoft strings so you can put here the double quotes and write this for directly here also no need to define it again and again or you have you don't have to take even a variable in this case you can directly write it here don't worry because sometimes we have to define the variables because you wanted to change the value of the variables here we have changed the value of the variables now let's see first mi then he has it has taken the space also because we wanted the first five characters from the left now if you will see the next it is the first nine characters from the left so it, it is taking the complete strings now let's uh, go for the another that is the uh, right so we'll be pulling out the characters from the right so first we will be defining the strings strings can be anything like it can be my name or it can be a word or it can be numbers or it can be special characters we are first defining the strings then we then we are defining the length from the right side so the length means the number of the characters which we are going to pull out from that strings so here that is the parameter descriptions it is too much technical so you just remember like this string is our target from which we wanted to pull out some characters and length length is the number of the characters which we wanted to pull out from which side it is written here from right side in this case and from left side you have to write it left so here you can see we have defined our variable microsoft vb script then we are going to 
fetch the two characters from the right side of this variable. So from the right side here, two characters is the PT. So you'll be fetching this PT, this PT, last two characters, P and T. From this script, it will be fetching five characters from the right. So C, R, I, P, T, it will be fetching and it will be showing on our message box. In third case, it will be fetching the nine characters from the right side. So nine characters is for whole string. So it will be returning the whole string. So you can see the output here. It is showing like this. Now you know already that how we can fetch the letters from right side or left side or from any strings or how we can make it uppercase or lowercase with the help of L case, U case, right and left. This kind of VBA code we are using in our uh, module. But if you wanted to do it directly, then we have some functions which we have discussed in our Excel file. Thank you guys for watching this video.